Let's take a look and see how we can use the LDRA tool suite with Wind River Workbench. So let's start by looking at Wind River Workbench. What I've done here is I've created a, a project using VxWorks and I've installed the LDRA plugin and then selected this LDRA perspective. Here we can see I've got my, my source code, simple example where I've got a main that spawns a couple of tasks, they communicate together and after a certain time then these tasks get, get deleted. So first thing I want to do is to do a, a static analysis on this and see how this code conforms to a particular coding standard. Well, I've already done that to save time and here we can see that I've got a list of the various violations. If I double click, it's going to take me to the appropriate place and there we can see that loops equals 50. Well, loops is probably unsigned and I really need to have a U at the end to indicate it's an unsigned number. So that's one way of viewing the, the, the violations. Another way is I could do a code review report and there we can see exactly what's happened. We can see the various violations we can see the, the rules that I've checked and there we can see the violation that we saw. Okay, at the same time I can look at the quality of the code and so here it's going to measure a number of metrics give me an idea is my code clear, maintainable and testable. In this particular case it is. And what we've done is we've measured various metrics and we can see we've got a, a few problems here, not enough comments that I've added into my code. But in general, the code is, is pretty good. OK, so we've measured this various metrics here. OK, right, let's now, uh, what I'd like to do is to execute this code. And as it executes, I want to be able to get the, the code coverage. So let's perform this. So what's going to happen now is it's going to instrument the source code. Then it's going to do the build. So we can see it doing the build now. And then it's going to start up, in this particular case, the VxWorks simulator. And it's going to download and execute the application on the simulator. And we should see it start to run. We'll see the two tasks communicating together. And after a certain time, it should then stop and close down. So just running for a few seconds here, we can see it's printing information out. And now we can see it's deleted those tasks We've now uploaded the execution history back to uh, Workbench. We're analyzing the results. And now we're going to be able to take a look and see, well, what coverage have we obtained? So we can now go to the LDRA coverage tab. And there we can see very clearly exactly what coverage we've obtained. Well, that's one way to view the coverage. Another way is we go to the dynamic view. And if I double click on here, we can scroll down and again we can see in this case we've measured the statement coverage, branch coverage and well there's no MCDC in this particular code. Let's take a, a closer look here at task pong run and there we can see that this is an infinite loop and we can see we've, we've got coverage except for this particular line of code here. Why haven't we executed that? Well very simply semtake has never returned error. And if I wanted to get coverage from that, then what I could do is I could use the unit testing in order to get coverage from that. But very quickly, there's a, a quick overview of using the LDRA tool suite within the Wind River Workbench environment. And if you want further information, then please visit our, our website.